Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about something that's pretty wild. Something that honestly feels like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's real and it's already patented. So if you know anything about me, I love to go on the USPTO website or the United States Patent and Trademark Office website and dig through what Stellantis is getting patents and trademarks for. Whether it be a new design for something, uh, basically, you know, something engineering related or some kind of new technology, even names for future vehicles or even logos, I kind of like to go on and kind of explore and find different things. Well, I was on there this past week and I found something that really caught my eye and here it is right here. You can see that it was filed in March of 2023. It was granted on July 1st of 2025, so this past week. But it says it's called, well, what it's called is systems and methods for accessing a vehicle with a biometric key. And before you think like, oh, it's just another fingerprint reader or something like that. Basically, if you go down here, you might think that by looking at this patent drawing, but it goes a step further. And basically what you, they're going to be doing is using facial recognition to unlock your vehicle. So basically you don't need a key fob anymore. You don't need a smartphone or a smartphone app. You just basically need your face. So here's how it works. Basically, the new system uses a mix of components your basically car might already have, like a camera from a reverse system or a mirror, a door handle sensor, and basically the vehicle's onboard controller. So basically what happens is you approach the vehicle, and instead of pressing the button on your key fob or using your phone, you enter a specific pattern using the door handle. So something like maybe three pulls, maybe a pause, four pulls, a pause, then two pulls. And then that odd sequence acts as like a secret handshake and basically wakes up the car's biometric system. And then once that sequence is completed, a camera turns on and could be mounted on the back hatch, a mirror, maybe even the grill, and captures a clear image of your face. From there, the system checks your face against the stored image profile of an authorized user. So if you're on the list, the car would unlock and you're in. If not, it just stays locked. And then here's another cool little detail. They even added an audible confirmation tone. So basically it lets you know if the system was activated. So you're not just standing there guessing if it worked or not. But it does have some really interesting uses. So basically, if you're locked out, your phone's dead, your, your fob is lost, the system will give you one more backup option to get in. And it's also great for letting multiple people drive the car, like maybe a spouse or some kids. And basically, you don't have to hand over a physical key. So that could be a game changer for delivery drivers. You think, or maybe even shared fleet vehicle people, you know, basically imagine walking up to like a Ram Promaster van and having it just unlock just by recognizing your face. I mean, this is where this kind of technology could lead. But let's talk about the privacy side. Now, here's where parts get a little sketchy, okay? For some folks, and let's be honest, I can see why, because the system doesn't just use your face, it basically stores your biometric data, and not only in the car, but in some cases, it would send it like wirelessly to a Stellantis-owned cloud server for comparison and verification. And yeah, I know that's where people will start to raise eyebrows. I mean, I can totally see why it might scare people to have their face and their biometrics saved on an OEM server. And even if they say it's encrypted and secure, we're living in a time where privacy concerns are at like an all-time high. Between data breaches and hacks and even government surveillance, it's not crazy to be skeptical. The idea of your car constantly scanning and potentially sending facial images to a cloud, that's going to make a lot of people very uncomfortable. And especially if it comes standard, if not optional, on future vehicles. So, and then there's the obvious question, what happens if the system fails? What happens if you have like a dirty face or the lighting is bad or you've aged a little bit or, you know, does it lock you out completely? You know, will there be a backup key for the override or, or, or should, I should say, or an override? You know, it, it remains to be unseen because the patent really doesn't talk about that. But where might we see this? So Stellantis hasn't confirmed a production timeline for this just yet. But they did tease similar features with the Chrysler Halcyon concept last year. It welcomes you with biometric recognition that enables a welcome mode that opens the doors, raises the vehicle with its air suspension, pivots the front seat, and activates the exterior lighting to a red carpet-like entrance. And that patent, or this patent, basically locks in their legal groundwork. 
So I wouldn't be shocked if we started seeing this pop up in higher end trims or future EVs. And basically it clicks all the boxes for future tech, especially in the luxury and EV space where companies are racing to add smart features. So honestly, if you know you look on paper, it's a really slick idea. The execution seems to be well thought out. It's you know triggered manually to save the battery on the vehicle, uses existing cameras, provides access in emergencies, but with all advanced tech, it's kind of a double-edged sword. So convenience, absolutely. Security, definitely improving. But privacy, that's still a big question. So now I want to hear from you guys. Is this the kind of feature you'd actually want in your next vehicle? Or is the idea of facial recognition and biometric data in your daily driver a hard pass? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on my latest videos. And I'll see you in the next one.